Lower back pain is the single leading cause of disability worldwide. In fact, one half of all working Americans admit to having back pain symptoms each year. And all total, about 80% of Americans will experience a back problem at some point in their lives. Mandy Nice, an NSCA certified master personal trainer and owner of The Nice Life, has joined me to talk about how to reduce your risk of back pain. Welcome, Mandy. Thanks for having me here. Now, I want to know, how did you get started in personal training? Actually, at a young age, I was highly competitive in sports. Gymnastics was my favorite, and I was doing really well, just competing all over. But I ran into a back injury mm -hmm. and uh, got pretty sick as well. And altogether, I found myself walking around, and I went down to pick up a pencil, and I fell over because it hurt so much. And that was really devastating to my athletic career. So I wanted to find a solution for that. And when I started studying health and fitness, personal training and, and the health industry was really a natural fit for me. Well, what are the most common triggers of back pain? Some of the most common triggers can be a range from spinal stenosis to herniated discs to all kinds of complicated conditions. But what's really important to remember is to get the diagnosis first and also work on preventative strategies uh, that can prevent pain from muscular tightness or bad posture or muscular weakness. All of that together can cause a lot of extra pain that you really don't need to go through. Well, I think that's what we would be interested in now are some of the preventative measures. So what are you going to suggest that might help me? The best thing that you can do to prevent back pain is, of course, work on flexibility and strength training. You don't have to use really heavy dumbbells. In fact, you can use exercise tools as simple as an exercise band that you can get from a local department, a local store such as Walmart or Target. Um, but you can use an exercise band just like this. And just by doing this one exercise and this one stretch, you can prevent all kinds of back pain from kyphosis or bad posture, rolling the shoulders and whatnot. All you have to do is start here and then just pull the band back toward your shoulder. This is going to strengthen the rhomboids and trapezius muscles. They're right back here. And basically, what that's going to do is, again, prevent your shoulders from rounding over um, and causing that condition called kyphosis. That condition causes so much pain because it overstretches the ligaments and the tendons in the back and the shoulders. But if you can strengthen those back muscles, you can hold your shoulders back and never suffer any of that pain. You can also do a stretch just for the pectoralis major and minor, which are your muscles right here. And all you have to do is take a big stretch, open up your arms like this, and take a big stretch to make sure that you don't develop muscle tightness. That exercise and that stretch is the key to preventing a lot of upper back pain. Well, now, what about knots and muscles or tightness in legs and other areas? Yes, um, sometimes back pain can be caused by muscle tightness in other areas such as your hamstrings. That's a muscle right behind your leg right back here. If you, especially if you experience any pain in your lower back, sometimes that's just a simple fix because if your hamstring muscle gets tight, it'll pull down on your lower back muscles. But if you, it can increase flexibility in just this hamstring muscle, you might completely prevent your lower back pain and, uh, and reduce your lower back pain, maybe even eliminate it. So the best stretch you can do to increase your flexibility here is just to put one foot forward while you're seated, completely relax this muscle and put your hands on your knee and gently lean forward just like so. You can hold the stretch just for a few seconds. Um, when you first start, you might feel a little bit stiff, but if you just practice mm -hmm. that on a daily basis, even if just, you know, when you sit down first to have breakfast in the morning or before dinner, it really does make that um, muscle increase in flexibility. And that becomes, if you make it a lifestyle habit, you can prevent a lot of lower back pain. We're almost out of time, but tell me about sleep posture, does that make a difference? Absolutely. Your alignment when you sleep can either help your body recover and energize for the next day or it can put you in a lot of pain. The most important thing to remember is alignment. So if you're sleeping on your side, keep a pillow between your feet and your knees and your arms. That aligns what's called your kinetic chain and prevents pain from tight, uh, muscle tightness. The other thing to remember is that if you're sleeping on your back, you want to keep your knees just elevated just above your shoulder level, put lots of pillows under there and reduce that curvature in your back. And and you'll feel much better when you wake up. Oh, Mandy, thank you very much for sharing these tips with us today. I'm happy to help. Well, Mandy certainly has given us some great tips on how to reduce our risk of back pain.